Hi friends, welcome to my video on Goa the Experience Part 4 and the last video of this series. I have covered the places we have seen in Central, East and West part of Goa. We have seen Japanese Garden, Goa Port in West Central Goa, then Vasco de Gama and Fountain are placed in East Goa. We had only 4 to 5 hours left on day 4 so that we can get back and catch the flight in the evening at 5 p.m. After the breakfast, we started at 9.30 a.m. for Japanese Garden from Bagmalo Beach via Bayana Beach Road. It is about a 10 km distance and it took half an hour to reach Japanese Garden at 10 a.m. On our way to Japanese Garden, we have crossed the Baina Beach in Central West Goa. It is one of the beautiful calm beaches in Goa and very near to Vasco Town. It is also very near to Dabul Airport. This beach is also famous for water sports and nightlife. Pequino Island is one of the beautiful islands in around Goa. This island is also called as Bat Island and it is about 1 km away from Bayana Beach. It is uh, famous for underwater swimming called uh, Snow Clay. The Japanese garden is on cliff top on the edge of the Arabian Sea, surrounded by the sea from three sides. The sunset view from this garden is very spectacular. The garden is full of rose plants and other ornamental plants. A walk away at the edge of the garden is the correct spot for a few photographs. It's a very calm and quiet. Place and only few locals can be seen here and there. Really, Japanese garden is a place on heaven. Lush green mountains on one side, calm blue sky on the other side, under this sky. Tides are touching the seashore and disappearing. Dark silent rocks listening to the music. This uh, place will definitely make you an artist and a poet. It's time to take a few photographs at Japan's garden. After visiting Japan's garden, we went to Goa Dockyard Limited, which is about 8 kilometers from Japan's garden and it took about 20 minutes. I was told that regular cruiser services are available from Goa to Mumbai. Goa is a perfect blend of both Portuguese and Indian culture. Goa has a coastline of about 105 km and this coastline is called as Konkan coastline which has 35 beaches. Goa is a tourist paradise with brick taking beaches, palaces, churches, temples, waterfalls. Goa is also called as Pole of Orient due to its uh, Beautiful scenery, western gods, vibrant culture, and great hospitality. From Goa Dockyard Limited, we went to Pontana's place, uh, which is located in Panji area of central Goa. It took about 
वन ऑफ ट्रीज फॉन्टेना Park your uh, vehicle in a uh, parking area and uh, take a round about this uh, fountain as a beautiful area with those uh, narrow roads and beautiful houses. I have some uh, photographs. The best time to visit this fountain is early in the morning, but once it is at uh, 11 o'clock, it will be very crowded with the visitors. Fontenas is a residential place in Fungi. Fontenas is a Portuguese establishment in Goa. This area was set up in the 17th century by Portuguese. This area is very famous for its colorful, neat, clean, typical Portuguese style houses, villas, and mansions. Narrow roads, overhanging balconies, are the showcases of European architecture. This area is also famous for hotels, restaurants, and cafeterias. I was told that every monsoon they will color their houses after the monsoon season. It's a tradition in Fountain. Each and every house in a fountain house is painted with a bright color. And when it is neatly decorated with plants that show some either side, the streets are very clean and neat. Hanging galleries, wide rectangular windows, verandas are the showcase of typical Portuguese lifestyle. The two eyes are not just enough to see this place. As they progress, this area will become crowded with uh, tourists and uh, local residents. So the best time to visit this place is uh, before 9 o'clock in the morning. From Fountain now we have proceeded to Old Goa take a look at old Portuguese heritage buildings. It's about half an hour journey to reach Old Goa. It's about 11 kilometers from Fountain now. Except that Old Goa was established in the 15th century by Vijapur Sultan Adi Shah Dayan. After the invasion of the Portuguese, the Old Goa became capital. But in 1843, the capital was shifted from Old Goa to Panji. Old Goa is situated on the banks of the great river Mando. Old Goa is a commercial place now with modern shopping complexes shops. There are a few old 
Portuguese uh, buildings here and there, which are renovated and used as offices nowadays. Goa is the smallest state in India. Goa has two administrative districts, North Goa and South Goa. Goa has 12 Kalukas. Goa city is spread over an area of 3,700 square kilometers. Goa has three principal cities, namely Panjim, Madagao and Marangao. Goa has two airports, the first one Dagoni, Second one, Manohar International Airport located at Mopa, Goa. Well, two to three days are not just enough to explore the city life of Goa. But we have planned our trip well in advance, day wise, and try to cover the most important tourist places in Goa. But we had badly missed places like Dulsar Waterfall, Mario Miranda Art Gallery, couple of beaches in South Goa, some temples and Churches. We also missed some ports. So it's necessary to make an advanced planning hourly and daily to cover the entire city life. Go on. In olden days, Goa is known by many names such as Govancharla, Gopakapatana, Gopakapuri, Goa Puri, Govem, and Govantara. Goa was also mentioned in epic Mahabharata as Govantara Kingdom. The medieval Arabian geographers mentioned Goa as Simba Pur. Now, Goa is an independent state. And the official language of Goa is Konkan. Though Konkani is the official language of Goa, people also speak fluent uh, Marathi in the English. for a syrup called uh, kokum, which is uh, made up of kokum tree. Kokum tree is a Garcinia indica plant. Kokum syrup is uh, used as a refreshing drink and also used in cooking and curries in the kitchen. 
Kokam is also used as a sherbat, sour curry, and a juice. It's a concentrated uh, drink and uh, it used to be diluted with water to take up as a juice. It's a very good for health because it's uh, very low in fruit uh, sugar and uh, Kokam uh, does not contain any other oxidants which are dangerous to health. Goa is uh, famous for boats, beaches, food, nightlife, palaces, churches, and uh, many entertainment. Goa is also famous for a beverage called the Fenny. There are two types of fennies. The first one is cashew nut fenny, the most popular one, and the second one is coconut fenny. Cashew nut uh, fenny is uh, made from cashew, apple, fruit. Cashew apple fruit has a seed on the top and a pulp in the bottom. After deseeding the fruit, the pulp is crushed and fermented for 2-3 days to prepare a fenny from it. The best way to enjoy the fenny is add lime juice or a limka and take it because it is a very concentrated Drink. We cannot take it directly. Cashew Fenny is a triple distillated spirit and contains high alcohol. So, dilute it and enjoy it. We are very thankful to these two gentlemen, Mr. Noresh on the left side for his overall support in a plan and device program and for housekeeping. Mr. Tanaji on the right side is a very sincere and cooperative during our trip. He is a very nice gentleman. He was a, our cab driver. We took the cab uh, for four days, right from pickup to job. Thanks to Mr. Naresh and Tanaji. Well, I am very thankful to Mr. Chandramon Deshpande and Dr. Deshpande and the big boss Chandramon Deshpande for their support and planning and execution. Shaman Deshpande is a big boss. Thank you very much, Shaman Deshpande. I am very thankful to my family, my wife, Vijay Bharti, and my Shaman Deshpande. Well, that's uh, the Goa trip, which ended on a happy note, with, uh, sweet memories and experiences. Thanks for watching on my video. Please post your comment. YouTube channel and support. Thank you very much.